Am I the arsehole? For giving a mother with a crying baby my seat near my wife to teach her a lesson? So my wife and I recently went on a trip together paid for by her dad. He flew us to Hawaii with first class seats. We had a great time. My wife is used to travel while I'm lay experienced with plane travel, this was the first time I flew first class. On our way back home, we were sat near the back way by the border between us and the undesirables. A mother and her baby were one of the first to board and the poor baby was not having a good time. I felt even worse got the mother as I know she's probably equally distressed about the baby crying. crying. While I felt sympathy, my wife was mad. She kept making comments about how our flight was going to be miserable as the best. Her completing went on for the longest time. She kept saying that the mother was irresponsible and if she doesn't know how to calm her baby, she shouldn't be taking it on a plane. I tried to tell her to calm down as it's not that serious but she wasn't having it. Eventually I got tired of that, so I offered to go speak to the mom for my wife. She said she would be happy if I did. I went back in between boarding groups and told the mother that if she wanted, I would give her my first class seat so she can kick her feet up and that may be more comfortable for her and the baby. She didn't want to initially but I insisted and her husband encouraged her to take it. She took her baby up to first class and I got series of angry texts from my wife. So I felt like this was not a huge deal as my wife brought noise cancelling headphones. And the other people in first class most likely do as well. And if they don't, they have normal headphones and can simply block out the baby. It's 2023, not 1990. We're not living in the Stone Age. The baby cried for maybe a cumulative 30 minutes on an 8 hour flight. So barely at all. When my wife and I met up, she was livid. She told me that I ruined her flight and ruined the end of the trip for her. I told her that she's overreacting to something that's only mildly annoying. She has refused to drop this. Am I the asshole? And then everyone on board clapped. Can I get things that didn't happen for 100 Alex? There's no way this is real. You're the asshole. Teach her a lesson is such a childish toxic trait. If you have something that's bothering you then you should talk about it resolve it right away. There's no need for this passive kind of behavior. You're the asshole for weaponizing your wife's comments against her, and for treating her like a child who needed to be taught a lesson. She's your partner, who wanted to enjoy a vacation with you, and you ditched her at the finish line. Who does that? You're the asshole. Why isn't a woman allowed to complain to a husband about a crying baby? Why does that make her the R? She didn't confront the woman, make loud comments so the woman could hear, she didn't make a scene. She had a whinge moan to her spouse. Instead you decided to punish your wife. You were on a free trip paid for by her father and decided you need to be a petty bastard. I wouldn't invite you on the next trip. You're the asshole. What lesson do you think you taught your wife? That she shouldn't complain about something to you, or else you'll make the situation even worse for her? You're the asshole. Why are you married to someone you obviously don't like? But a lol teach your wife a lesson. Don't stay married to her if you need to do petty things. At least they can save money in the future not getting a first class ticket for you. I will take something that never happened for $500 Alex. No airline would have allowed that. ESH. Your wife for being rude and lacking empathy. You for feeling as though you had a right to punish her for her behavior. And for using other human beings to inflict that punishment. They had to sit through several hours of a flight next to a person who openly didn't want to be in their presence. I don't get the part where one adult figures they should teach another adult let alone their spouse a lesson. ESH. So you sat in the back, away from the crying baby which you didn't think was a big deal and changed seats so your wife would have to sit next to the crying baby she was super complaining about. And you don't think your wife is entitled to complain about something if you don't agree it's a big deal. And you are wondering am I the asshole? LOL yes you're the asshole. 
You're the asshole. You didn't pay for those tickets, so I feel like it wasn't your place to give that seat up when you didn't pay for it. It's also just a petty thing to do to your wife. Now I don't agree with your wife complaining because babies can't help crying on a plane their poor little ears are probably popping, but you really just did a petty thing to your wife that wasn't necessary. And you didn't reach her anything, you just angered her so you kind of punished yourself lol. You're the asshole. You weren't doing this out of the kindness of your heart. You used a mother and her child who were probably already stressed as a pawn in your weird game. Your wife was making mean comments, yes, but she was complaining to you, her husband, not making a scene or confronting the woman with her baby. You're the asshole. You used a baby as a weapon. Not sure how you can not be the R. But her, I would be traveling solo next time if I were her. You're the asshole. Babies are loud and annoying and it's okay to complain about them. It's not like she was complaining to the mother or anyone else. She was complaining to you, her partner, her confidant. And you responded by punishing her and everyone else in first class. I don't see you and your wife being married for long. You're the asshole for going out of your way to teach her a lesson. You're the asshole. She is your wife. Complaining to her husband privately. You are literally the person who is supposed to be there for her to complain to. You would rather sit in coach, away from your partner to teach her a lesson? Way to cut off your own nose to spite your face. You're the asshole. You weren't doing this out of the kindness of your heart. You used a mother and her child who were probably already stressed as a pawn in your weird game. Your wife was making mean comments, yes, but she was complaining to you, her husband, not making a scene or confronting the woman with her baby. Info why are you with a person you can be so petty to? Seriously just get a divorce. It's always a bad sign when someone says. To teach her him a lesson. All you did was show your wife that you have the power to make her even more miserable than she already was. What lesson did she learn? Sure, your wife had a shitty attitude but you switched seats out of spite. That's just immature and controlling. You're the asshole. Lol what the hell? Yes your wife should have toned it down, but who do you think you are to teach her a lesson? You're her husband, not her parent who is meant to discipline and teach her morals. Why couldn't this have been solved with a simple conversation? What are you? 15? Sh, but more so you because your wife wasn't really doing anything to the woman and her baby. I would have been on your side if your wife went out of her way to say something to them or make them uncomfortable. You did entirely too much. You're the asshole. You didn't do that to help the mom and kid. You did it to annoy your wife. E.S.H. It sucks to be around other people's crying children, but complaining about it a bunch is also very annoying and unnecessary. You suck for making your wife sit next to a stranger with a baby for 8 hours, just to be a dick. Esh but this is also funny. You're the asshole for ruining your wife's vacation. I'm pretty sure her dad didn't pay your ticket so that you could go sit with a random stranger instead of staying with your wife on an 8 hour flight. You're not her teacher you're her husband. If she's annoying you, then just tell her that. Your complaining is annoying me more than the baby's crying. Stop it. Esh. I could see my husband and I in this scenario, as he's the complainer. I'd be tempted, but he'd be justifiably annoyed with this nuclear option. I have said to him, calmly, I too find that noise annoying, so I don't need you to keep reminding me. I'm trying to block it out. I have to hear the noise, plus hear you complaining. You're multiplying it with your complaints. So let's both acknowledge that I hear you and I hear them and move on. You're the asshole. You went behind your wife's back to teach her a lesson she's not your child, she's your partner. I don't foresee any first class tickets paid for by others in your future. You're the asshole. ESH except the parents. Your wife's attitude was nasty, and you chose to teach her a lesson rather than treat her like an adult because she's still your partner, even if she was acting like a child at that time. Hum. 
Very unusual that the airline would allow an unrelated economy passenger to switch to first class. Especially one with a baby. I call BS. You're the asshole for thinking it's somehow your right or obligation to teach an adult a lesson. Disgusting mindset. You're the asshole. Your wife is your teammate, not your adversary. You used a stranger to win a pissing match with your wife and tainted the memory of what was probably a nice trip. You might not get invited to the next one. E.S.H. She was a drama queen and you got all passive-aggressive preachy, showing you don't take her seriously as an adult. Not sure if you guys deserve each other or if you'd make other partners less miserable. Phew, it's fine and understandable to be annoyed at a baby's screaming on a plane. What crossed the line was for her to question the mom's competence. You're the asshole. Noise cancelling headphones don't cover the sound of a screaming kid. And you were a petty at that. You helped ruin not only her trip, but made everyone else in business as miserable. Who the hell you think you are? It's not your job to teach her any lesson, you certainly showed her you're a complete arto. You messed up, big time. You're the asshole, come on man. Really? You're the asshole. You left your wife for an eight-hour flight for complaining about a frustrating situation. Nobody likes babies crying on planes. Plus, you separated the mother from the husband father, who should have been helping with the baby throughout the flight. You gave him an easy out to being a deadbeat dad for eight hours. You're the asshole borderline right thing for the wrong reason. It is a hard call. That was an act of kindness. Too bad that you did it to teach your wife a lesson. E.S.H. Your wife is an R, and your reaction to her was ridiculous.